The final maneuver proved as a move no more nuts as any other plan there was at hand. A perfect occasion for a contemplation of all the events and the writer's intent. It may seem safe to say that Rufus's way for saving the day is a little snafu. But when shit hits the fan, it's when a decent man's plan will be deeper as ever a diver with a scuba to do. Uh-oh. That's what I like about you. You always find a place to park. But could you have picked a spot in the shade? <laughs> Next time you drive and I do the drinking, I wonder why they haven't sounded the alarm yet. Yes, they appear to be ignoring us. Try to make it work for you. Okay, if I'm not back in ten minutes, give me ten more. Attention! Oh, <laughs> pilot on deck! Division, halt! Yes, yes sir, pilot! Oh, yeah, I mean that. <clears throat> well done. Oh, crap. More of them. Uh, <laughs> in the... Uh, attention! Bailiff on deck! <laughs> Hello? Bailiff on deck! Yeah, we've noticed. Tell us something we don't know. Really? Mind your manners, will you? A little more respect for our bailiff. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. He's got a point. After all, he's the bailiff. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm, 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 after all, I'm the, I'm the bailiff. Uh, remember that. Is this the right floor, Bailiff? You should know that, being a Bailiff and all. Ah, <laughs> of, of course, uh, of, of course. Are you completely sure about that? Of course I'm sure. I'm the Bailiff. I'm always sure. Good to know. Time to disembark, everyone. The Bailiff says we're here. Um, let me guess. Oh, Cletus? No, Argus. You guessed it. And you must be Rufus. Some nerve you've got coming here. Foolhardy and stupid, as always. Or don't you realize that I will now have to break every single one of your bones? D wait! C can't we come up with a, a more peaceful solution? I don't think so. The time for amicable agreements has expired. I've been looking forward to this day. Put him up. Oh. Oh, uh oh. Uh, cut it out! What have we here? A throttle valve to adjust the elevator's speed. Well, who needs that kind of thing? Ow! Ah! Oh! Ow! Hey! At last! The team is waiting impatiently! W waiting For your speech, of course! And allow me to add that I am no less excited myself. Your speeches are always so inspiring, so eloquent. You play the crowd like a, a virtuoso plays his piano. And if I may say so, a less charismatic orator would literally be torn to pieces by such an audience. <laughs> He would? <laughs> oh, certainly. But your words are like magic. Inimitable. <laughs> but here I am, just raving on. You should get started before the crowd grows even more agitated. Yeah, yes, nobody wants that. Electrify us. 
Work your magic. Guys, just a moment. I, I, I think, um... Gentlemen, we are about to be addressed by our great role model. Our leader. Our mentor. Our idol. Bailiff August! Who just a moment ago personally assured me that the speech he's about to deliver will inflame your hearts for our common cause. And now, stand to attention! You are now being addressed by Bailiff Argus! He knew this, and he just let me walk into it. What an ass! Um... Yeah, Tom. What a... Well, I mean, that... Ass... I don't... No. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is... That, 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 um... Ass... Uh, who is standing in front of you? Is only one of the 11,000 asses aboard this ship. <laughs> we are all asses. That's how we were constructed. That is our destiny! I know, I know. Why is he saying those things? Well, this is why. Just look around. What are we actually doing here? We're supposed to destroy a planet for which we don't give a rat's ass. For people who don't mean shit to us. Isn't it time to realize that we are the asses here? Then why don't we do what is expected of us? And shit on them. Come on, say it. We don't give a shit. I could name you a thousand more examples. The fact is, we're the asses here. But is that something to be ashamed of? I say, no! I, for my part, am proud of what I am. I am an ass! And you're all asses too! It's time to show the world what's inside us. Long live the Organon! <laughs> Was it good? Very inspiring, like always. Great. Well, then I can go now. Uh, which way to the bridge? But, uh, what about the hymn? The hymn? Uh... Exactly. Following each of your speeches, you lead us in our hymn. You can't have forgotten. Ah, uh, uh, yes. The hymn. <laughs> <coughs> 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 me, 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 me. <laughs> Here we go. Organon. Oh, oh, Ganon. Oh, oh, or Ganon. Or Ganon. Oh, oh, Ganon. Oh, oh, or Ganon.
Cletus, there you are. Where's your mysterious companion? I had hoped you would introduce me to the person who caused us so much trouble. Don't worry, she's on board. You should be more worried about the others who are also on board. Your precious bailiff Argus has moved the entire Organon to this high boat. What? That can't be true! Where is that traitor? You know, I've got good news and bad news regarding him. The bad news is, someone's got to clean the floor of the elevator shaft. I don't think that will be necessary. Argus? I don't believe it! You are trying to deceive me? To bring the organ on to Elysium behind my back? Yeah, but he didn't reckon with me. Or me! What's going on here? Who is that? I'm the real Cletus. He's just an imposter, which, strictly speaking, makes no difference. Plus or minus two zeros. My calculation turned out just right. This high boat is now under my control. Not as long as I can prevent it. Stop that! This high boat is no longer bound for Elysium. What? 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 I'm certainly not going to jeopardize the Utopian project by taking an invading army to Elysium. I'm initializing the destruction of Depodia. Right now, Elysium will have to start on its journey a little sooner than expected. Stop! Ulysses! You fool! This is madness! My decision stands! Don't try to stop me! But... But what? But what about you? You're gonna die as well! True, but this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. With all the suffering I have caused, I don't deserve better. Ha! Huh. So you've got a conscience after all! You don't have to do this! Oh yes, I do. But... Why would you want to sacrifice yourself for the Elysians? Who or what is forcing you? I mean, Deponia may be no paradise, but it's possible to live there, and many people do. And not everyone down there was as unhappy as me. I know. I know the life down at the surface. I spent a long time there myself. Like a rat amongst the garbage. That isn't a dignified life. Not for... For a bunch of stuck-up swellheads? Hey! If you really want to know, this is about my daughter. She lives on Elysium. I want a better life for her. On Utopia. I'm doing this for you, Go. <gasps> no! You old fool! What have you done? What do you think? In a few minutes, a radio signal will be emitted from this high boat. It will activate all the blast towers around the planet. Deponia will be destroyed, and Elysium can finally set out on its journey to Utopia. I saved my daughter. That's what I have done. I'm afraid I have to contradict you, Dad. Go? What? What? How? I went to Deponia with Cletus. I knew you would never permit it. That's why I didn't tell you. The girl we were looking for was... You! The one who took pity on these junkyard dwellers and sabotaged our plans? This was about you the entire time? Can't we celebrate this family reunion some other time? Deponia may blow up any minute now. Including us and your precious daughter. Exactly. What are you waiting for, Ulysses? Abort the detonation! But that's impossible. Can't we stop it somehow? The only way would be to destroy the antenna before the signal has sent. The transmitting antenna, of course. But the transmitter is on top of the upper deck. It would be a suicide mission. Who would be crazy enough to try? I'm in. So am I. And I. Well then, what are you waiting for? I'm coming too. You're staying here, Missy. You and I are going to have a serious talk. Oops, why does that always happen to me with antennas? Here we go. Haven't got all day, you know.
<laughs> that was fun. Fun! You moron! You almost killed us! Oh, I've heard that so many times before, but never actually, you have killed us, and that makes all the difference. That's quite enough. I've had it with you. You will hold yourself back from now on. Leave the rest to us. So, how shall we proceed? You could jump. It's much too far. Or perhaps you could stop the rotor. Oh, don't be such a rufus. The rotors are keeping the high bones upright. Even if we could block it, the high bones would capsize. That would be the end of us. Step aside. I've got a plan. Stop! Don't! <laughs> I hit it! <laughs> and who's the idiot now? You, of course. Same as always. Huh? Why? Just look. The transmitter fell into the rotor, and it keeps blinking like nothing happened. Oh, damn! It's still active. How are we going to reach it now? There's a catwalk down there. I can see that. Any chance we could get there by jumping? Down there? Just how stupid are you? Answer his question, Cletus. Excuse me? You're the inspector here, aren't you? Then let's hear your assessment of the situation. What are the odds? <laughs> Taking into account the rotation speed and the radius, the odds that we'd survive without being shredded by the rotor are about one in three. Well, one in three isn't half bad. That depends. It roughly corresponds to your brain cells per head ratio. Well, one in three isn't half bad. If the three of us all jump from different positions, at least one of us could make it. But that's insane. Have you got a better plan? Ever? It's all settled then. It's all settled then. We count to three, and then we all jump. One, two, and I'm jumping. Are you? You were gonna cheat, huh? Not me. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I almost jumped by myself. <laughs> Again? All right, but no cheating this time. We jump at three. One, two. You were about to cheat again. <laughs> again? But no, we jump. One. Two. <laughs> three. Rufus? Rufus, wake up! What, what happened? You made it! Bravo! W where's Cletus? I don't think he made it, but I'm not quite sure. It all went down very fast. Now, do you see the antenna anywhere? I'm at it. Do you hear me, Argus? I've got it! Very good. And now, destroy it, piece of cake. <laughs> uh... No! What are you doing? Destroying the transmitter. What else? You're not about to stick your hand in the rotor, are you? I knew you were an idiot, but... The sheer folly of this really surmounts everything I've heard so- ah! <laughs> I did it! The 
transmitter is destroyed! Deponia is safe! Yes, very impressive. But to make it a little more interesting, you blocked the rotor. Then help me up so we can get the rotor running again. It would be such a bummer if the high boat were to break apart at this point. After all, we're only a stone's throw from Elysium. Yes, that's an idea. Another idea would be to let you rot down there. I suppose it depends. Depends on what? Your decision. Will you help me with my coup against the Council of Elders? Y you what? Ah! What's going on? Something's blocking the starboard rotor! Is that bad? No idea! You missed Deponia! We're about to crash? But, but we're almost there! I can already see the airlocks! The airlocks, you say? But of course! The maintenance ladders! Perhaps I can hold our position long enough so we can evacuate. Go and gather your friends together. And what about the Organons? Them too, of course. Now that the detonation has been cancelled, I hope that Argus will rethink his plan. I will inform the Council of Elders. But what about you? Go! There's no time for discussion! Go now! I refuse to believe this. You still intend to have the Organon invade Elysium? Why not? Where else could we go? I will never allow that to happen. Oh, come on, Rufus. Those soldiers down there are our brothers. We share the same gene. Basically, we're identical. Why should you be allowed to get to Elysium and not one of them? Or two or three? Where do you draw the line? Who gets to decide that? You, perhaps? No, but so. What do you say? Never. That's too bad. But it can't be helped. Somehow I knew you wouldn't cooperate. So long, Rufus. No, stop that! You rotten bastard! <laughs> <laughs> there you are again. Ah, it hurts. <laughs> it's your own fault. <laughs> Ow. You're a fine one to laugh, but now we're all in the same boat again. I think I can free myself. <laughs> Don't! The rotor is only stuck because we're all in between. As soon as one of us moves, it will start running again. Then we all die! But if we continue blocking the rotor, then the high boat will crash one way or another. We're dead. Just how did we manage to end up in this stupid situation? Don't look at me. You two messed it up this time. What? Can't come up with a cunning plan for once. Let me think. Nah, it's completely hopeless. So, we can relax then. Rufus! Cletus! Goal! What's happened here? Doesn't matter. You have to get us out of here. Preferably before the high boat crashes. Guess it's a little too late for that. Dad says that all these rotor failures have damaged the engines. He's able to hold the high boat in position for now. But evacuation has already started. We've only got minutes. Oh, great. Now everyone's getting to Elysium but me, right? Exactly. Get me out of here. You can only save one of us before the rotor starts turning again. No. There must be a way to get all three of you out. No, there isn't. Come on, make a decision. How can I decide that? I don't even know who's who. I am Rufus. He's lying. I am Rufus. They're both bold-faced liars. I am Rufus. Oh, great. And now, can the real Rufus give me some sort of proof? Of course I can. I know something that the other two definitely don't. Oh? And what's that? That I cooked breakfast this morning. Yes, that was unusual. Anyone could have guessed that. Yes, but not what we had for breakfast. Easy. We well, had... I don't think I can hold on any longer. 
Rats! Now we're back to square one, and I still don't know who's who. I am Rufus. Oh, really? Prove it. Well... Who cares which of us is Rufus? Just leave us here and save yourself. The most important thing is that you survive. Ha! He just gave himself away. Exactly. The real Rufus, uh, that's me, would never say such a thing. You're right. That really didn't sound like Rufus. Could it be possible that you changed that much? The real Rufus will never change. You know that. Then perhaps it's just another trick to look good. No. I, I, it's true. I'm not Rufus. Rufus, that's him. What? Uh, yes, I, yeah, sure. He's right. Uh, I am Rufus. Is this a trick? A last desperate maneuver? You know, if I help him, it's too late to change your mind. You're going to fall and die. Definitely. Just think, how can I be the real Rufus? The real Rufus is never going to give up. He'll never change. And he'll never let go. Stop! <gasps> no! No! Come on, go. We need to get out. Come. <laughs> huh? Hello, Rufus! What? Barry, what are you doing here? You're my idol! You remember? And <laughs> I follow you everywhere! No, seriously! I just wanted to tell you how much I admire what you're doing here! At first, of course, I was shocked, but then I did understand! Brilliant! Really! It was actually the only thing you could do! A genius plan! Even from a philosophical point of view! The ultimate altruistic deed! Huh. Wow! Rufus! The oh-so-resolute Rufus at last finally changed! Are you ready? I don't know. Do you really think this outfit is appropriate? But Rufus, everyone knows you're a Deponian. You remember that, right? You no longer need to pretend. Never again. You can simply be yourself. Forever. Rufus. But this is perfectly cool. Ah, here come our heroes, the saviors of Deponia. Well, a fine mess you got us into, if I may say so. Your report poses us a difficult dilemma. Naturally, now that we know Deponia is inhabited, our journey to Utopia is cancelled for the time being. But the high boat is destroyed, and the cable is cut. And with so many new citizens, our resources will be used up even faster than expected. What will become of Elysium? Are we forced to land on Deponia? Is that the solution? So many questions. I'm afraid I have no answers for you, Your Eminence. But this Deponian here is a true genius. Who? Me? If you're stuck for unusual ideas, his imagination knows no limit. Go ahead. Any suggestion will be welcome. Uh, but, Goal? You can do it. Well, uh... <laughs> Uh, perhaps we could mount some rockets on Elysium. Go on. Or flying dragons. And if we put um, monster truck tires on a, a gigantic dirigible... Monster truck tires? Uh, then perhaps we could uh, train a few eagles and... Uh... Getting back to those flying dragons, how big would they have to be? Oh, oh huge with very large teeth, and they should breathe fire.
I'm closing my case. There's nothing left to say. Any last questions? I take that as a no. But if you feel better, your whole world is shattered. I may have a helpful suggestion for you. Just grab your harmonica and sing about the polia. The roof is a stream of a life more ideal. And the fact that sometimes there may be just one last chance to save the day if you let go. And if that's so, I'm off now for real. Oh, sorry, so now for real. <laughs>